We will soon find out whether officers will be charged in the shooting death of a man during a traffic stop on I-94 earlier this summer. The case was handed over to the Hennepin County Attorney's Office today with Mary Moriarty, claiming some State Patrol employees are refusing to cooperate with this investigation. Fox 9's Courtney Godfrey joining us now from our studios. And Courtney, this statement is receiving a lot of backlash. Yeah, Kelsey, it is. Former Washington County Prosecutor and General Counsel for the Minnesota Police and Peace Officers Association, Imran Ali, calls Moriarty's statements troubling. Get out of Get out of the car now! Get out of the car now! Body camera footage captured the moment Ricky Cobb II allegedly pulled away from state troopers alongside I-94 as they were attempting to take him into custody. One of those officers firing a fatal shot that's now the center of an investigation. In a press release announcing that they had received the case from the BCA, the Hennepin County Attorney's Office said, We've learned from the BCA that there are state patrol employees who have thus far refused to cooperate with the BCA's investigation. These are individuals who are not the subject of the investigation, but may have relevant information. We are disappointed by this lack of cooperation. I'm appalled by this statement. Former Washington County Prosecutor and Minnesota Police and Peace Officers Association General Counsel Imran Ali is criticizing the timing and purpose of Mary Moriarty's statements, saying it violates due process rights. Later on, you know, that may be something that's appropriate for the county attorney to opine. But at this point, receiving the case today and issuing a statement is extremely problematic. Lawyers representing the Cobb family releasing a statement saying in part to Trooper Londrigan and all those who have enabled and sheltered him by refusing to cooperate and tell the truth, the old ways of silence and turning a blind eye are over. Accountability is coming no matter how hard you try to hide. Everyone deserves fair and impartial justice. To have this happen at this point uh, is, it, it, it is really, really troubling. When reached by email today, a State Patrol spokesperson said they couldn't comment on an open investigation. The BCA only sharing that they can't legally require anyone to speak with them and that any interviews or statements provided to their agents are given voluntarily. Kelsey? All right. Thank you, Courtney.